I thought this sounded kind of cool, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like God, man. What the hell? I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich, poor, slave bitches. Smart, dumb, crazy bitches. Truth, horny, dirty bitches. All right, guys. And we are very close to closing in on... Let me get this out of the way. There we go. Quickly get this. And... There's 140 million lovely construction experience. Currently using my aura, as you guys can tell, so I won't commentate too much. And I yeah, just got a mother load shard. I think I have roughly 519 or 520 mother load shards so far now. So I wish there was a high score to see who has the most. Because I'm kind of curious to see who has like 600 plus or so. Um, from what I've seen, I think I have the most out of my friends. But I'm sure some people have more than me because I haven't been always using it. I sometimes forgot to use my amulet. Or uh, other things like that. I don't really know. Apparently, you don't even need the amulet. I haven't really searched if you do or not. I know whenever those amulets came out, um, what are they called? The ones that give you like 3% boost or some crap. I know when those came out, you didn't have to wear the amulet anymore uh, if you wore the other amulet, I believe, though. So I'm not too sure if it works. If you never wear it and you don't have the other amulets in your bank or in your inventory or whatever. It was going to probably only get about 2 million construction experience for this aura. After that, I, uh, I had to actually go out. I unfortunately activated at a bad timing because uh, I just got a call and I had to go out for at least an hour or so. So I won't even be back uh, to finish it. So I'll probably have roughly 40 minutes left on it without being able to use it. But eh, technically, I'm only losing about 40 minutes of time because of that. But no big deal, to be honest with you. And as for Div, I'm actually very close to 140 million experience as well. So you guys might see that this video. I'm not too sure exactly how long the progress will be in this video. And as always, I'm doing Nightmare Zone on my old school account while doing this. I always do Nightmare Zone whenever I do construction for two hours or so. Um, just because you might as well. There's nothing else I can obviously do on old school while doing construction on RS3. So I guess Nightmare Zone is like the only possibility. I don't think old school has any skills that you can actually like fully AFK like rock tail fishing, ivy, crystal, uh, trees. I don't think there's anything that you can efficiently, sort of efficiently, AFK, like, fully, like, right on, uh, besides basically Nightmare Zone, which I think is sort of, it's, like, almost efficient to do Nightmare Zone, I think, for a little bit of your combat experience because of all the changes to Slayer, where cannon's a lot more usable now, and some mage experience as well from Kraken ties and things like that. But anyways, I won't commentate too much, uh, just because it's kind of hard to do well done construction. But I will see you guys in the next clip with, uh, Possibly 140 mil div or something else. Oh, and everyone comment, good fight hands if you guys are watching this video. Gains. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hundred and fifty million construction. Fuck this skill. Oh, my goodness. Anyways, as you guys can tell once again, I'm using my enlightenment or and fuck this quest, dude. Fuck this quest. Piece of shit. Give me my fucking thieving outfit so I can do this shit. Ah. Oh. Two treasure hunter keys. Fuck yeah, it was worth it. So yeah, you get a lot of lamps for doing this. Is there any on the ground? Yeah, there's like okay, so here's crafting. Don't ever need it. Agility, oh yeah. Mining, need that. Fucking have to press number one. There we go. Agility, perfect. Prayer, don't need that. Rip. Herblore, don't need that. Rip. Summoning, don't need that. Rip. Woodcutting, that would be helpful. Range, rip. Dungeon, rip. And construction. Fuck yes. 50k less construction I gotta do today. Is that everything? I think that's, that's that was like 10 things. And here is, I guess, the lovely outfit that everyone's talking about. Is that it? Oh yeah. What does this do? Check. 25% chance to avoid stun. Do -do 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 -do. Check, check, check. Perfect. Anyways, what's going on? So guys, as you guys saw, 150 million construction. I'm going to show you guys quickly my experience, and I'm going to try to do my best to do some muzzle load mining while I'm here anyways on my main account. Um, or I guess I consider this my main account now. But anyways, so I'll take a look at my experience for right now. Um, so 150 million, I actually had finished off with almost like 152 million. I think I did about 2 point, yeah, 2.95 mil construction with the aura. And I took a little bit of a break as well. I did some spinning because I had to go AFK for a little bit. Um, so I, pro I normally get around 3.2 mil construction experience with my uh, Enlightenment Aura, which actually resets in 4 hours and 23 minutes anyway, so thank god I finished that. I always end up saving that thing for the very end of the week, 
Uh, I'm going to ask you guys right now in the comments if you guys end up saving your Lightning Aura all the time right before resets. Even though you think you're going to do it uh, when it first resets, you always leave it to last. It's just like homework. Anyways, a while ago I stated that I would like to get most of my stats to near 150 mil now, which now that I look at it, I'm actually not too far at all from that. So construction has been achieved. I'm currently working on submitting, as you guys can tell in the background, which should actually be almost 140 mil sometime later on today, which means 10 mil left. And then I have thieving, which I will do a little bit of talk later on about thieving. Um, as you guys saw the starting of the clips, which I should have added, the uh, the new quest that came out that I did complete yesterday on the day of release. But yes, as you guys can tell, looking at the screen right now, um, this armor set has come out. It looks like that whenever you wear it. I believe it's a top. There's a hat. There's a top bottom. And I think it's boots. There's no gloves, I believe. No, there is gloves. And there's no boots. My bad. That's, yeah, it shows right there. Trying to try remember from when I was wearing it. But yes, there is no boots for it, which basically means... They probably did it on purpose. Instead of having boots, it has gloves, so you can wear your Silverhawk boots while you do it. Or else the set would probably not really be worth wearing, uh, unless you don't have to worry about agility experience. And on top of all of that, this armor does actually work just like Black Ibis armor as well. And I believe from what I heard, it also works as if you were to have um, the gloves of silence on, but it doesn't say here. But and that might have been a rumor, but apparently the braces uh, also work as gloves of silence, uh, because those are useful whenever you do... Uh, uh, dwarf traders. And would you look at that? I'm gonna freaking die soon. But yes, as you guys see, it works for pickpocketing, which is basically the dwarf traders, and pyramid plunder, which uh, obviously is, I believe it's still actually the best method for uh, thieving, but not by much at all, just because uh, dwarf traders are pretty damn good, and they also give you agility with the silver hawks. Agility boots, or agility, silver hawk boots don't get triggered too much if you do pyramid plunder, so it's more ideal to do it at dwarf traders. And of course, it's AFK. But yes, I believe the new thieving rates now are around 450k experience an hour without any bonus, which means 900k if you have bonus. Um, and I believe that's including avatar and refer a friend, so you can look up towards at least 400k an hour probably uh, without that stuff if you are consistently clicking, obviously, without losing experience, um, which is quite crazy. But I believe this does put heist at uh, possibly dead content for the most part. It's not really worth doing for Hunter, but obviously you should probably still do heist for Hunter bonus experience because... AFK versus training hunter, I'd much rather do AFK. But yes, if you are deciding to do heist for thieving, it's probably not really worth doing anymore unless you want to break like a thieving record, I guess, for like a monthly or weekly. Um, I don't know if you can really break monthly. I think monthly is like around 130 mil anyways, but you'd have to start at like a very, you have to basically start at level 99 thieving and then do it all in a month, which is very well possible. Um, just I don't think anyone's done it yet. With 900k experience an hour, if you also have bonus, I'm pretty sure sometime in the future, somebody is going to pull about like 100 mil thieving in a week. Uh, if they have bonus and this new armor, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. It is possible to do like 130 mil in a week possibly, but you'd have to play just around 20 hours a day. But um, I don't know exactly who's going to do that. And the people that would have done that are probably already 200 mil thieving anyway. So rip. It'd be crazy though to see someone pull 140, 130 mil weekly thieving. And probably on top of that, they'd probably get like 10 million, 20 million agility with the silver hawk boots. I have no idea. But yes, if you guys are doing any thieving at all, I would recommend completing this quest, uh, Plague Zen, I think it's called. Um, and then once you complete it, you can start doing thieving. It's, it works for Pyramid Blunder, like I said, and pickpocketing. So if you don't have the level for Dwarf Traders yet, um, which I don't really recommend Dwarf Traders till you're probably around level 90-something, probably even 99. Uh, but I guess this outfit, maybe level 90, whatever works actually for Dwarf Traders now. But anyways, um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting. Now going back to my experience, uh, as I showed you guys, smithing is probably going to be one of my next skills to 150, as well as divination. I might finish divination possibly sometime tomorrow. I'll do some divination tonight and sometime tomorrow as well. And then all I have left is basically thieving and runecrafting, which, like I said, I'm trying to save runecrafting for one of my last skills so I can just AFK it and play old school at the same time, which would work perfectly for me um, because it's AFK. But this doesn't mean I'm going to obviously stop doing construction because if you guys look at my weekly construction, kind of curious, 9.3 mil. My monthly construction is also now at 29 mil, which is pretty sweet. There's a graph for it if you guys are interested. See, if you just do a little bit every day, man, it really does add up. I'm nearing probably 175 mil by the end of this month. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the progress and enjoying the game. Sometime tomorrow will be an old school video, I'm quite sure. Um, and I will also talk a little bit about uh, the fast spawn rates now you can do for Gowers under bosses or instance worlds basically, uh, which is pretty freaking awesome. But I, I tried that last night, by the way, uh, on my stream to do Armadale, and uh, it's quite fucking amazing. But I'll probably talk about that whenever I upload my 300 out of 1,000 kills for Armadale, 
And I think I'm about 20 kills off right now. I think I'm around 82 kills or something like that right now. I have to double check. Um, so I have a little bit more to kill, and then I can make that video for you guys. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next video. All kinds of